My mom's gonna kill me if she sees this. She may be pretty, she may be smart, she may be funny, she's changed your broken heart. I'll never be her. Hi guys, so today I decided to film an ABG transformation video where I do everything at home. So, I first heard the term ABG in a group called Subtle Asian Plates on Facebook. I always thought it was the typical Asian stereotype wherein Asian girls were super quiet and nerdy. I thought that was it, but apparently I am so wrong. So, according to Urban Dictionary, an ABG is a special type of Asian girl who enjoys going to clubs, partying, drinking with friends, loves to get boba, and shop usually an Instagram model, influencer, or bartender. So, as you all know, I am neither an Instagram model, an influencer, or a bartender, and I don't really go to raves that much, but I do like drinking. So, I saw a lot of ABG starter pack memes, and it's usually girls with long coffin nails, really thick lashes, full-on heavy makeup, long hair, uh, usually the whole, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm gonna try and do the entire transformation at home. I got some fake nails online, which are this one, and I'm gonna try and attempt to apply them since I never even tried long nails before. I also got this huge temporary tattoo. It's literally my entire arm can be covered. And I'm gonna put on extensions as well. I'm gonna skip the contact lenses though because I just got LASIK last year and I'm not exactly sure if I'm allowed to wear cosmetic lenses, so safety first. Without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me. And let's get on with this transformation. I'm gonna do this makeup really quickly. I'm gonna start with my primer. So I'm just using my Vanilla Co Primer Classic and I'm just gonna be slathering it on my entire face. I'm gonna go in with my Fit Me Maybelline Foundation in the shade 125 and I'm just gonna be slathering it on my face using a beauty blender. So for my next step, I'm going in with my heaviest coverage concealer. It's the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade 228. And I'm just going to be putting it over my under eyes as well as this darker area here and on some acne scars that I might have. So now that I'm done concealing everything that needs to be concealed. I'm gonna go in with my contour shade. I'm starting off with a cream contour from Huda Beauty. It's the same cream contour I've been using for my past videos. So I'm just gonna be carving in that cheekbone and that jawline to make it more snatched. So now that the cream contour is done, we don't want our makeup going anywhere when we're raving. Not what you call it. <laughs> but I'm gonna be setting my face with this Benyai Benny Benai Buff Luxury Powder. I'm gonna be baking it a bit. So this base makeup is not going anywhere now that I've set it. I'm gonna be using my powder contour. I'm using the Hula Benefit one. It's in the normal shade and it's a broken pan on it already. And I'm just gonna be lightly contouring. For blush, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'm just gonna be using my MAC Fleur Power and Powder Blush. It's in this pinkish shade. So for brows, I'm gonna be trying to make them more arched and defined than usual to get that signature influencer ABG brows. I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Brow Wiz. So 
So for eyeshadow, I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything too crazy because I'm gonna be wearing really thick lashes and I don't think the eyeshadow might not even be seen. So I'm just going in with a matte brown look. So now I'm gonna be doing my eyeliner. I'm going in with my Fenty Fly Liner and I'm going to draw a really thick cat eye just so that I can pretend that I have eyes. Okay, I'm gonna finish this eyeliner off camera because it's not working right now. So, I just finished my eyeliner. I don't even know if it's even, but we're gonna ignore that. So, for lashes, I have these Miniso false lashes. This is the thickest lashes I own, so I'm just gonna be using this one. These eyelashes are crazy. So, let me zoom you guys a bit. So as you can see, they're really thick and long, but I actually like how it looks. It looks, I think it looks good. So now I'm going in with the white eyeliner. I'm just using the Dior Intense Cool Pencil. It's just a plain white eyeliner and I'm just gonna be... Now I'm gonna be drawing in little lower lashes. As you can see, I have none. And we're going in with highlighter. We know no AVG look is complete without one. So I'm gonna be using my Wet n Wild Highlighting powder, it's my favorite highlighter, but it's actually broken. As you can see, it's hanging on for its dear life. But I'm just gonna be highlighting on my cheekbones, my nose bridge, my cupid's bow, and my inner corner. So now for lips, I'm gonna go in with this nude Sephora lipstick. It's... I'm not actually sure. Oh, it's their Sephora Rouge Cream in the shade 6094B. It's just this really light, light nude pink shade and I'm just going to be putting it on my lips. Now, to make sure that this makeup doesn't budge, budge, budge all night, I'm going to be using my Jeffree Star Approved Set and Refresh Mist. So, this makeup look is now complete. I'm going to be moving on to my hair. Wait, I'm going to zoom you guys a bit more so you can see the finished makeup look. It's just this really light glowy it's not actually light it's really heavy makeup but it's this super glam makeup look perfect for raving so now i'm gonna be moving on to my hair i'm just gonna be putting in my clip in extensions and i'm gonna be curling it So now I just finished curling my hair and it's so fluffy and long. I think you can't really see it that much because of my shirt. But now I'm gonna be changing into my ABG outfit and I'm gonna be right back. So now I just changed into my outfit. This is the top that I'm wearing. It's from Urban Outfitter. It's an I et France top and it has this weird thing on it and I think it looks so ABG. I'm gonna be showing you my whole outfit in the next clip or maybe in the end, whatever I decide during anything. But right now it looks so good. So now I'm gonna be moving on to my tattoo. So my tattoo is this giant dragon tattoo. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be cutting it in half. I'll just see. Should I cut it in half? I think I might cut it in half just in case it doesn't work. Just so I can have a backup plan. I'm gonna be cutting it off where the first dragon ends, I think. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> but I'm just gonna be putting this here. How long am I supposed to leave this on? I can see it. it, it I think it's working. Oh my gosh. It looks weird on where I cut it, but that's okay. 
add this one. Should I just do the whole arm? Okay, I think I'll just do the whole arm. But from the front, it looks quite good. Oh, that's alright. But oh my gosh, it looks real. Okay, now that that tattoo's done, it honestly feels really weird. And I don't know if I can even bend this. But now I'm gonna be putting on some fake nails. At first, I was planning to use the nail glue, but I didn't want to risk it. So I'm just gonna be using the nail stickers that comes with it. So, I'm gonna be doing my nails. I've been doing this entire transformation look on our family's mahjong table. So, if that isn't Asian enough, I don't know what is. Now, I'm gonna be choosing the nails that I'm gonna be using. So, I tried this on, I think, a couple days ago. So, I know what sizes I'm gonna be needing. I have on this tiny nail sticker thing. And I'm just gonna be using it because I'm really scared that I might get this off basically you're gonna stick the sticker on so it looks like that so I just finished applying all the nails to this hand and now I'm gonna file it down using a nail file How can you do anything with long nails? So I just finished putting on my nails and I tried moving my camera. It took me literally 10 minutes because I couldn't do anything with this nail. So I was planning on putting on nail polish on this but then I realized it's an impossible task so we have the aesthetic anyway so I'm just gonna leave it like that. So this is the finished look. I just put on my ABG baby gold hoop earrings and I think this is it so so this is my outfit I'm wearing this crop I it's France top with this buckle thing on it it looks honestly super ABG that's why I wore it and I'm wearing this Dickies pants it it's black with this white lining i think it looks really cool and it matches well with the top so i decided to wear that and for my bag i decided to use this mini lv i think it's a pochette pochette i'm not really sure but it is, it's just this mini monogram lv which is perfect for raving so i think this is my finished look so this is it for my finished ABG transformation look. I'm in love with this look. I think it looks really good. I not said look too many times, but this hair, this earrings, this, even this tattoo it looks really good. The only thing that I can't get quite used to is my nails. I set up my ring light here and it took me literally like 10 minutes before I could set it up because these nails were so... But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'm almost at 1k and I'm really excited about it. And that's it for this video. So see you guys in my next video. Bye!